Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tanzanite Business and Investment. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all. Uh, please uh, subscribe, like, and uh, share, comment. Uh, that way you're going to help us continue doing more videos. And uh, you're going to encourage us to continue stay the calls to do research and uh, be able to bring all the great company here on this channel. Uh, also, I want to just let you know that I'm not affiliated to any company, which I'm going to be discussing here. Uh, this I'm just here for research, for education purposes and uh, entertainment purposes only. Okay. Let's Let's get going. And for crude, the energy sector, the best performing sector in the S&P today, up 3%. Back to you all. All right, thanks a lot, Josh. Well, that NFT boom, it is showing no signs of slowing down. Sales of non-fungible tokens, they soared more than $2 billion in the first quarter alone with, get this, twice as many buyers as sellers. And again, on that trend. Well, it's kind of having a moment right now. So there's a lot of NFT craze happening um, and something like this, by the way, is happening in crypto. It seems like every six months there's some kind of new innovation. So I think this is going to be like the internet where there's like, or fashion, there's sort of like a new trend that happens um, periodically. And NFTs is the most recent one. But generally, I'm, th I'm a fan of NFTs. I think um, it's really cool that it's making, making it possible for artists to get paid. And one company cashing in on this craze is Humble. Look at this chart, a crazy climb since going public just a few months ago. This blockchain firm works with athletes to mint and then sell NFTs. For much more, let's bring in Humble co-founder and CEO, Brian Foote. Brian, thank you for being here. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right, we appreciate it. Brian, you got to loosen up, man. It's not that serious. All right, thanks <laughs> for being here, my man. Um, so NFTs, obviously a red-hot craze, and so is retail investing. So many retail investors out there. So a lot of people are looking to your company for some exposure to NFTs. So if I buy a stock of Humble, how much exposure do I get to NFTs and what kind of NFTs are you selling and putting out there? Yeah, so I think, you know, you're gonna see really curated verticals coming online. I think, you know, to, to Brian's point at Coinbase, and by the way, congratulations to those guys, big day uh, for digital assets. I think, you know, what you'll see in the space is you have sort of these, you know, th theme park versus gallery moments where um, to, to Brian, Brian's point, you know, there's going to be a lot of proliferation of, of these ideas and, and how people get access to them. And then over time, I think, you know, the artists, the athletes, um, even large media companies will start to consolidate that behavior into kind of one click for the customer in a way that they can get a sense of price discovery, what the market's going to be worth and how people want to package their lifetime catalogs of content. I think it's a really exciting space and we intend to, to package it up well for the customer. So, Brian, we're going to show a couple of your NFTs. I know one of them that uh, you're really highlighting is one for uh, MLB All-Star Nelson, like the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, the Cowboys, Dak Prescott. So kind of give us a sense of where you see this NFT craze going, and do you see it mostly growing in the sports field, or are there other places where NFTs can see a similar boom? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, again, we're starting to experiment with ideas. Um, so, you know, not, nothing set in stone with who, who we're working with and, and how, but you know, we're exploring ideas that we're proposing to customers and, and to athletes and to artists and, and so on. So I think for us, we're, you know, in, in a spot where the, the market will discover where it wants to be. And if we can package that really well uh, in a way that the artist and the athlete says, yeah, that's something I want to be a part of, or, or media companies start to see a second life at the box office for things, you know, that's already cataloged, like movies or, or uh, music. We think there's a really strong opportunity uh, for lifetime collectors to, to, to create new markets uh, beyond stocks and bonds for trading on the blockchain. So it's a really exciting time and we intend to package it well so that you can move from, from a hype cycle into something that's lasting and meaningful for creators and um, anyone who's a producer of content. Yeah. Brian, it's Morgan. I'm curious, I mean, about the company itself, you did this reverse merger. Um, the stock charts bananas, I realize they're coming from basically being a penny stock to, to where we are today. Um, but you got three main businesses that I'm looking at here, pay, so the mobile payments, you got the marketplace, you got the financial, which houses these um, investment vehicles around, around Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. But I haven't seen any SEC filings as of late. 
Um, no earnings or, or financials released either. Are you generating revenue? Are you making money? How, how quickly are you growing? Yeah, so we're, we're a new company and we did something novel in terms of going public on the OTCs. Our intention always is the NASDAQ to, to move up and into to that marketplace. So for us, we saw an opportunity to get our foot in the door um, as a stair step to the NASDAQ and, and to grow our brand for customers and make that available early for people who wouldn't traditionally get in on an IPO. You know, you see a lot of choke points with IPOs and with the FANG stocks, with uh, people who have access to deal flow and, and then you know, the majority of the population that doesn't. So we wanted to do something novel. I think the, the market is saying to us, you know, as long as you show up to work every day and try to package blockchain into one click for the customer as an Amazon of assets, we'll, we'll, we'll be there behind you. So, um, you know, our intention is just to work hard and, and try to package something up for the customer that's really meaningful and, and packages these new technologies like blockchain into one click, whether it's NFTs or ETXs. We recently purchased a uh, um, uh, created a, an agreement to purchase a ticketing business where we think there's just going to be this consolidation in yeah. blockchain um, that tokenization allows for. But are you actually generating revenue yet? And, and if so, which of these businesses, uh, I guess, represents the greatest growth opportunity? Yeah, so excitingly we are. Um, we just launched these ETX uh, products that ask it of um, diversification on top of digital assets. You know, the, the millennial and the Gen Z consumer is saying, we're willing to um, you know, invest in digital assets. We're hunting growth and new opportunities. So we wanted to step in there as sort of a layer on top of these exchanges to start getting people portfolio exposure to, to um, the digital asset class. So yeah, we're, we're, we're getting you know, thousands of new customers um, and we have revenue coming in from that. And our intention is to, to keep driving forward uh, both on the ETXs and the NFTs. So we're generating revenue of thousands of new customers and very exciting time for us. All right, Brian Foote, CEO of Humble. We're gonna have to leave the conversation there. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.